Welcome to the Chris Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Nine. I'm IG Explosive One. Let's crack it to another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, this will probably be old news by the time this comes out. But oh, no. I just saw that. Did you see that uh, there was a coup in Niger and the military took over as leader? Did you see that? No. So uh, oh, I don't know exactly no. what brought it on or like whatever, but that's not really the point of what I'm talking about. I just saw online just minutes ago. Mm. The ex-finance minister of the Niger Republic was at like a press conference like crying because he was told by the new military leaders, you, you, if you, you have 48 hours to account for all the government stolen money or executing you by firing squad. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, that so is some he's, real he's, stuff, dude. So like he's dead. Probably. I mean, but I mean, I he can, run. he can start spilling the beans, right. About like what happened and what he knows. And I bet that would save him, but they were just like, so basically, so what I'm, I mean, I don't know the truth obviously, cause it hasn't come out, but so there, my, my assumption is they assume the government is corrupt. They yeah. took over the government because yeah. the government was corrupt. And they're like, account for your corruption or we're going to murder you. But it's all pomp and circumstance. They're just going to kill him anyway and say he couldn't do it. I mean, but yeah. I mean, I don't know. Regime. We'll see what happens in the next 48 hours, right? So that would be what, <laughs> Monday that would happen? Yeah, it seems like any money that he is, he does come up with, they're just going to put in their pockets and most likely be like, he couldn't come up with any of the money. But. Yeah, but I guess accounting... Me, it can mean different things right uh, tell us where it is so we knew how it was spent or bring it to us there could be different like is it either spill the beans about what you're doing or it, or is it bring us the money right so as much as i talk about how i would love to be a politician i have to admit that this is probably one of the scariest things about being a politician I mean, it ain't gonna happen in the U.S. I mean, We're the gov the, the military mean, ain't gonna take over the government in the we U.S. We can talk about the your, the Sixers, seventy Sixers, like yeah. from Philadelphia. It, what happened there? No, when uh, when the people stormed the Capitol. Oh, the Sixth Sixers, the Sixers, not yeah. the Sixers, the Sixth Sixers. Yeah, yeah I mean, whistle. yeah. So I mean, it's and the fact that uh, Nancy Pelosi's husband was attacked, you know. Yeah, I mean, oh, um, well, I mean, being that, a public figure, a celebrity, or whatever, I mean, there's a lot of negative ish that comes with that. But that's what I mean is like when it comes to being a government, yeah, it's not only just like crazy people who know your name from the TV and get their news from a, 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 a bad feed that paints like some picture that makes you look crazy. But right. then it comes to like, what if somebody attacks the country and they want to get to you for political reasons? Oh like if yeah! If you're president, you have a target on your back. Well, I mean, look at Zelensky in uh, Ukraine. Like they that want is, to kill, they want a, to kill him. They would have killed him. They, I'm sure there has been attempts, and they have stopped them. Right? Like if they, if they want, like that happens a lot. I mean, what do we do? We went to go Iraq. We went and tried to find Saddam Hussein and kill him. That's the whole point. Yeah. It's like you kill the leader because they aren't going to give up on their own. But it's right? all because they, instead of like you know working at a hotel as a, a checkout guy they decide to get into politics with power comes responsibility man well i don't know do they i mean yeah okay so the, yes they do have power obviously a lot of these yeah because if i mean if they raid stuff. the u.s they ain't going after the dude who works at walmart they're going after the guy who can do something well yeah but that's why i'm saying it's like it's a scary job being a politician that's all i'm saying it's like politician being a politician it's it's, it's oh yeah well daunting people, work people hate you for things that you have no control over exactly well, i mean and celebrities too like people are like oh you're an asshole and you're like you don't even know me bro you saw me in the movie yeah but if, when the aliens do come over and try yeah. to take over america yes they are going to go after our politicians first they're not going to come for drake and brad pitt and tom hanks all right i mean if they came after tom hanks no they're going straight for aoc <laughs> the aliens come in they're going right to aoc's house yeah <laughs> I don't know, man. It's it's an interesting like the idea of like a military coup is wild. Yeah, and that, it, like it can happen anywhere. I don't think it would happen in America, but I mean, it almost happened in Russia. I mean, that was a private company. It wasn't like their actual military. Yeah, I was gonna but... say we're a little bit different than Russia, though. Yeah, how? Yeah. Um, because I don't know. I feel like a lot of people over here have guns. Uh, and that's why I think no one's ever invaded us. Yeah. I think they're more afraid of the, the, I think other countries are more afraid of our common folk than 
I mean, our military is strong as shit. Don't get me wrong. Like, they're afraid of yeah, our military, that, too. that's for sure. But, like, I guarantee you, if Germany was like, oh, we're going to get America. Let's go to Florida and dock our boats and hit the beach. They'd have a hard time. The, the citizens would be out there with guns shooting at them, too. They'd have a like, hard time. Because you know not to shoot the guy who's uh, who's wearing blue jeans and, a, <laughs> and, like, a leather jacket. You know not to shoot him. Right. Like He's on our team. That's what they should do. They should Like, the Russians should order a bunch of clothes from Walmart and yeah. then try to kind of just land on the shore. <laughs> they just look like a bunch of Americans just, rolling up. Just a bunch of, like, but, shirts with, like, uh, what's the American guy? flags on yeah, them and stuff. Yeah, American flags and Calvin and Hobbes pissing on stuff. Yeah, yeah. They walk over like, what's up, fellow American? Where are the French fries? Ha! <laughs> Let's get some greasy foods and, uh... That's, yeah, yeah, we all speak like Italian. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm but yeah, dude, it's that. uh, it would be interesting to see like somebody try to invade us, like paratroopers it like coming down in the sky, and then like, well, no, because they wouldn't make it, dude. Bruh, like people would the aliens do. Okay. People are just waiting to pop off with their guns. I mean, that people is who true. own guns are like, let a mother show up to my house yep. from a like a invader. That's what, they've been waiting their whole lives for that moment. A yeah, they people. get to use their guns like free will to like defend yep. their country at home. Like they just walk out their front door and defend their country. Just walk out my front door and defend my country. Like imagine if there was like Russian tanks rolling down our street. <laughs> See, yeah, that'd be wild. <laughs> I mean, what, that's I what, what, that's what we do. do to other countries, though. I, I mean, the Iraqis, yeah. like, they're just looking out their windows and American tanks are going down the street, dude. Well, I'm hoping that they have the coos not to attack me in my home while I'm sitting here, like, you know, watching the office or whatever. We are putting out media content. They do not, not. We're press. Not anti -Russian. Freedom of the press. They do not get us because we're press, technically. I'm not. I'm not. This is not anti-Russian or anti-China or anti-Ukraine or anti-anybody. Nobody's anti anything, but we're part of the press. We part of the press. Yes, sir. They don't come after the press. You're not allowed to attack the press. That's against uh, the Geneva Convention. Oh. Oh, Jonas, you ain't know. There's rules and regulations. You can't attack, uh, what do you call this, residential areas? Yeah, but Russia's been doing that the whole war. Hey, hey look, man, you know. They shoot, they all a rocket oh, missed, man. hit an apartment complex in a residential area. Uh, I will just I will just counter that with saying yeah, I see the same videos you see. Yeah, I'm trying to say that's Ukraine doing it. I'm not saying anything of the source. False flags? What are you trying? No, I'm just saying is that I see the same videos you see. That is all I'm that's saying. That's a very diplomatic answer. Uh, yeah, it's an evasive answer too. I wouldn't say it's evasive. It's just being uh, it's being truthful without being like uh transparent. Like our whole podcast. What? <laughs> Truth, not facts. No. I feel like we were more transparent on the old podcast. I used to get the a old lot. Old podcast. We've been doing the same podcast. I mean, you know, back when we used to like do it live and back when we used to like do like hour long episodes, we used to, I used to get in my bag. We'd get into some real personal stuff. I mean, we don't have time now. We're, you want to go back to doing hour long episodes? Remember when we did a play by play the first time that you ever had sex? Yeah, that was nice. You remember that? Oh, it was good. I mean, it took all like three minutes to talk about, but you know, it was. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> and we're done. Yeah, that was it. Uh, like, wow. I, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it was. It was. It was uh, she'll never forget it. She'll never forget. <laughs> never forget anything. Yeah, like but I mean, that. you for, you don't forget things for all sorts of reasons. <laughs> it was, it was like a uh, it was like a car accident happened so fast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it was over before she knew it. Yeah, you know, she was left scarred for a long time. Dang man, man there was a lot of damage. <laughs> jo Jonah's been blowing backs out since uh, 1997. 20, 20, since 20, <laughs> that's what, the first time I ever touched a woman was in nineteen. 27. Nine, no, you weren't alive in 1920. I, I thought you were going to get a real date. I was honestly ready. I was baited because I was ready to really have like share a moment with you. I thought you were honestly going to give me an answer. You did. That's cool. I said the first thing I said, 1997. I thought you said 1927. 1997. It was like when you were still coming up with a year, I said the real year. Oh, it's, oh okay, cool. Yeah. What, what was her name? What? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sassafras. <laughs> That's a lie. I was really, really just going to sit here and have a moment with you, and now you're not even going to tell I'm me your name. I'm not going to tell you the moment. 
We <laughs> talked. To I told me. you the year. Nah, that's on the old pod. Like I, said. I know, the, I know the date. It was. I'm not gonna say on it. the old pod. Jonas would have. Uh, Jonas would have said it. I would have. Yeah, I would have been like. You and then, I, and then I caressed her hair and told her that she was beautiful. <laughs> there you and go. it's done. No. Quick, uh, quick why do you, I don't think we did all that before, did we? No, nah, I, I don't know. I feel like I like we we had uh, we had to fill airtime up with stuff. So yeah, oh, we might have got so more we would just like tell long tangential stories that didn't make any sense. Yeah, we don't do that anymore though. No, dude, we we're like bat 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 bat. Yeah, we're in I mean, here. you get ten minutes, twelve minutes. We're like topic 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 yeah, topic we, topic. We we crank them out and we spit them up. You barely know what we're doing. We you see us crank it yeah. harder than we've ever cranked it before. Yeah, in your ear holes aren't even ready. We just slip it in, dump our entire load mm. of audio Excellence. heroin, and then we leave. Yeah, we come in, we tickle. Yeah, and then we leave. I leave you with all this audio juice, oof, oozing out of your ear holes. The juiciest audio, right? Lickable. Uh, you didn't even know you like liquids in your ear until you heard our podcast. Nah, imagine what your other holes could feel if you listen wow, to them there. That's a little brazen. No, what do you mean? Oh, the hubris on you. I'm just saying. It's like, have you ever tasted the pod? I mean, nah. I dabble. Have you ever snorted the pod? I dabble. You okay? I mean, I go back and listen to our voices afterwards. Exactly. I sit in my room at night and talk about how good episodes are to myself. Have you ever butt chugged the prog, the pod? The prog? The pod. Have, you ever, have you ever done it? I, no, dude, I haven't. This is why I could never get into rap, because I can't say the words. What words? You know, like rap words, man. This shit's hard to do. I, I was at volleyball last night. And you were rapping? And there was a, a freaking song that came on. And it literally just kept saying over and over in the beginning, C and that B, C and that B, C and that B. And I w- and there was a girl standing next to me. And she's like, is he saying C and that B? Turn this shit off. They're going to kick us out C of the bar. That B. C and that B. So the C word being the see you next Tuesday. No, no, no. The the seed. Oh, come, oh, yeah, yeah. And like I, coming it, home from work. Yeah, yeah. And it just like said it like three or four times. And she was like, they're going to kick us out of here. For, we got turned. And then the B would be the B word for female dog. Yeah, yeah. Just oh, I was like, oh, that's what rap is like now. Oh. So he was saying some in that witch, some in that witch, some in that. Witch. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, oh, I don't know what it, song it, that it is. It took me like a minute to like. I mean, it's like a, it's concept, like I was like standing there and it's like, I'm just hearing the music in the background. I'm like, what the, wait, hold on. What is happening? It sounds like a, a straight fire. I'm going to sounds like straight fire. Anyways, that right now. that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. We'll create for Jonas. Come in the bit. Come in the TNT. <laughs> we out.